does save your blade a bit. Save it all these bigger things. I'm gonna cut a little bit with a saw. So I'll let you know what's going on here. But uh, yeah, it comes in handy and stuff there. Cool. Not bad. And try that out. That's pretty cool. Take care, man. Yeah, I just chopped down a uh, azalea bush. It's out of control, half dead. So, I'll take out my little Ozark knife here. I think I showed it once before. Ten bucks. Comes with a ferro rod, but the ferro rod very small, but it has a lot of magnesium. So. I like to utilize and save some stuff, you know, so I'm just gonna work. But this part is dead, some are green, some is not. I don't care about the bark. Gonna make pegs out of it. That's all I'm gonna do for now. Just touch them up. All different sizes. So I like to utilize everything. And then some items I'll just use as toggles. A piece of maple. Anyways, uh, yeah, so it has a the little teeth on it. Works good for the bark. And then, you know, this is still pretty sharp. Nice 90 grease pine. Got this. You know, got the sheet that holds the ferro rod. You can put another ferro rod, like a, one of Nathan's or uh, even a Coughlin's. So, what I want to show you here, as you see on the top, Right there, it's just a small little skinny ferro rod and then the rest is magnesium. But uh, let's see how it works without starting to fire. See, it works pretty good. Just to let you know, I don't know if you saw it or not. But uh, so anyway, this is a small ferro rod piece. Read them. Keep your eyes to the sky. I just want to let you know when you cut things, look at it, visualize what you could do with that wood. Make toggles, make um, um, spoons, forks, um, cookses, but get some good pegs. So take it easy, man. I don't know if I was saying Ozark Mom, but it's an Ozark Trail knife. I showed you once before when I got it. You know, ten dollars you can't beat it really. It, you know, keep it as a little backup. I just keep it up here. Um, just bought three new knives, not that expensive. The, uh, the Old Wolf, I have Scandi, and then a couple other grinds, Carla ones, and uh, I'm very satisfied with those. But um, good to have in your bag, or just as a little backup, just to let you know if you don't have a lot of money to spend, just. Something like this will work. It's full tank too, so. But uh, yeah, works pretty good. I see the knots in the middle, so I don't know if it's skeleton in there or not. But it's uh, pretty strong. Doesn't seem like it is, but uh, let's see. Knots. No, it's full tank. Looks like it's full tank in there. Yeah, totally. A little hole in here to tie off things. So. Yep. Looks that looks pretty good in there. Yep. Take care. So messing with that azalea bush. Ozark knife did uh, most of the work here. And uh, got some toggles, some pegs. 
this part here works good for the bark. Uh, just so happens. But uh, and then on the some couple bigger pieces, I did use a little saw, and then of course my uh, steel hatchet for I think it's a Forester's camp axe or something like that. But great for making spoons and stuff. But uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I just want to show you. Take it easy, man.